Welcome back, you beautiful fox. It's me, Danny. Today, we're doing a special video. Because when do I not? We are looking at the Godzilla 1968s. We're looking at the Showa Ghidorahs and Gabra. Man, we're getting right into it. I'm falling behind here. Right off the bat, we got one of... This used to be one of my favorite Godzilla suits, I would say. As a child. And right now, what I'm holding is the Bandai America slash Bandai Creations Godzilla 1968. I remember going into a Toys R Us when I was a youngster with my family and seeing this along with the Millennium Godzilla, which is also a favorite of mine, and being astonished that these were on the shelves. I just had to get them. And thankfully, my family did because I was like 12 and didn't have a job. So, that that was really great. Shout out to the fam. Um, do kids still say that? Who cares? Uh, I will be honest with this figure has aged pretty poorly for me. And we'll get into that as you'll see with other Godzillas. Never mind, it's right here. This is the original Bandai Japan Movie Monster Series Godzilla 1968. 68? 68. Get it right. This figure is glorious. I really do like this. Uh... Now, I will admit the 68 suit has not, has kind of fallen down on my list in terms of how hot, how much I love it, uh, but it's still a good suit. It still has some qualities that I really do like. Uh, right now, my favorite suit is 74 and 75, but this one still does really good. It still is really good. I have the tag for it as well. It's just in the binder. Uh, update on, if you guys saw a post, my, the, my collection is back at my parents' house because it's too much for me to take over to my new place and unfortunately the basement flooded it everything's okay i'm just getting all these amber alerts man all these let me go get my do you guys hear that in the middle of my video kids are getting kidnapped wish i could help i'm sorry but yes the basement the figures are fine it was just i had like a super mario 3 poster get wet you guys i post a picture of like some of my uh the movie art got wet on some of my dvds they were on the bottom shelf but the figures you know they're plastic they're fine nothing really got wet uh i checked the tags the tags were safe in the binder anyway uh sorry i'm kind of rambling everything's just going off the rails here this is actually so normally i would say this is an sh monster arts Ghidorah, the showa era but apparently and i didn't know this because i don't really pay attention to everything uh sh but this is actually not official. They never made this Ghidorah themselves. This is probably a prototype that they made in their lab and decided, no, we're not going to do this. But it ended, it ended up on like Wish and eBay, and that's where I got this. And I got it for free. And I'll tell you why. So I ordered this off Wish, which was amazing because I did it during COVID. So it never appeared a size comparison. So, you know, Wish takes forever to deliver their stuff, but with COVID and the shipping issues we were having, it took what felt like eternity. And it got to a point where it just they just kept delaying the delivery, delaying, delaying, and but it was just taking months. And after about six or seven months of waiting, they finally let me get a refund. They were like, yeah, it's probably missing. It's probably gone forever. And they refunded it. And then about another week later, it showed up at my doorstep. So I got a refund. And then I got it. So I got it for free. And it's actually not that bad. Except it kind of falls apart very easily. You just have to get it in a good pose and leave it alone. Anyway, what you're looking at right here though is actually one of my favorite Ghidorahs. Ghidorah figures. Which is the Showa Ghidorah from the... It's not the Movie Monster series. But the old like maybe Godzilla Island. I don't know. 8 inch scale Ghidorah. Although it scales amazingly with uh, the Bandai Creation one. The Bayonet Creation Godzilla, I should say. And it's, it's actually kind of too big, in my opinion, for the 68. But I guess with Ghidorah, you can never be too big. You know, it's better than the 6-inch Ghidorahs that scale terribly with 6-inch Godzilla figures. Because they're too short. So, yeah. Anyway, though, ending off the video, we have the YMSF Gabra figure. This I also ordered during... Uh, 
COVID times, and I remember YMSF, they told me they couldn't do Japan air shipping, which is their no more shipping. So I had to do land, which took five months, five or six months to get to me, I think. It was crazy. But well worth the wait, because that figure is amazing. It's the only Gabra we have at six inch scale. It's crazy. I'm sure Movie Monster Series will do it soon, hopefully, because we need them. But anyway, guys, all the figures get a thumbs up. They're all good. Uh, the, sh the SH bootleg art falls apart easily, but, you know, it just sits on my shelf, so it's fine. All these figures, though, they're great. And like I said, the f nothing really got damaged in the flood. I just have to rearrange some stuff in my collection because we always have to clean up down there and redo some stuff. So some things are a little unorganized, but I'm going to still try to keep... I already planned ahead of what videos I want for the next few coming weeks. I have a package I have to get sent out from Big Bad Toy Store as well. So things will be handled. Anyway, guys, I hope you all are good. I hope you enjoyed the video. And next week, I don't really know what we're going to do. We'll see what happens if I get that package. Uh, if not, we'll have something. Till then, guys, take care, and I'll see you all next time.